Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and today we're gonna have a look at my balls. We're gonna try and get a grip on, no. Gently cup, all right, you're just making it worse now. Geodesic domes is what we're going to be looking at today. I've got a method for you that's easily reproducible that I'm gonna show you how to do to make these big, beautiful domes, geodesic domes. By which I mean my balls. On a live stream a while back, I started building, and we're still not done with it, the uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 Satellite of Love, which, if you've seen that, uh, has itself two great big bowls at either end of it. Four bowls total, if you count them. Sort of two pairs of just giant, all right. So I needed a way in Kerbal Space Program to reproduce these uh, geodesic domes made of pentagons and hexagons, soccer ball style. What I ultimately came up with was equilateral triangles for the win. One of the simplest ways we have to build a hexagon here is just to snap more triangles along on the edge. I'm going to be rotating once to the right, so I'm hitting the E key once, and then what you'll see is that the red line here is faced along the outside angle. You want that pointing toward the outside angle. This is going to make things easier later with having the right attachment nodes at different places. Just keep making a copy, rotating it to the right, sliding it back to the left if you need to, snapping it on, and you'll end up with the red pointing out. If you wanted to increase the structural stability of each hexagon here, you kind of merge your way into the part and then snap one of these to here, and then if you backed your way out and snapped it to there, snapped it to, snapped it to somewhere, get yourself a strut attached from the first one to the last one, is my point. And now you want to make a sub-assembly of that, so we'll pop open advanced mode, clicking in the top left corner, go over to sub-assemblies, grab the whole thing, and drop it into the drop zone. Right, there's your hexagon, we can throw it away, and now if we need another one, we just spawn it in from the sub-assembly menu. Which brings us on to the pentagon. We're actually gonna need two different variants of the pentagon for this, and I'm going to start with an incredibly tiny cubic octagonal strut. That's what you're called, right? Okay, no, that's the, it's the octagonal, it's not the cubic one, because it's, it's not a cube. It's, it's, we, we don't need that. Pull out another equilateral triangle of the same size that we've been working with, whatever you've chosen, and this is going to be a bit of a trick. We're going to make one, two, three, four, five, that's you're in mirror mode. <clears throat> Press the R key in order to switch over to radial attachment symmetry, and then one, two, three, four, and we've got six-sided symmetry, friends. We want a pentagon. That's, that's one size too much. Oh, and with the texture tearing, too. Happy Hanukkah. So here comes the trick, all right? We're gonna remove one of these from symmetry, yeah? I'm gonna come around to the back here, and I'm gonna make a copy of the ones that should now be in five-sided symmetry, because we went from six to five, by removing one of them from symmetry. Place this over the top of there, and wouldn't you know it, we got ourselves a star. How do we turn this star into a pentagon is a uh, question you should have been able to, I mean, visual mathematics is like on the SATs, dude, get your act together. But now we got all this texture tearing going on, how are we gonna get rid of that? Well, let's go into rotation mode, get off of the snap, grab that, and then just, just, just ease it, just either side, and boom, we've got a pretty dang flat pentagon now, and since all of our equilateral triangles are individually attached to this center component, we do not need a strut connector for this one. I mean, you know, your mileage may vary, it depends on what you plan to do with your balls. But this gets us the first variant of pentagon that we're going to need, so back over to the sub-assembly menu, grab it by the root part, click over there, and oh goodness, what am I going to name it now? So if I hit the four key or go up to this little button and click it, I'll get the reroute tool and you want to select the bottom equilateral triangle to be the new root part of this pentagon. This will give us one that attaches radially on the edge. Drag that into sub-assemblies and give it a massively inappropriate name. And throw that one away. Now, friends, we have all the pieces that we need in order to create our geodesic domes, starting with the core 2.5 meter pentagon. Let's start building. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to roll it over. As soon as I find it's always the last friggin' angle, isn't it? I'm going to roll it over. And then this core pentagon piece is going to be the very bottom of our soccer ball. Then I'm going to grab a hexagon, roll it over, and in a snapping mode, boom, we now have five hexagons on one pentagon in the middle, 
You see where I'm going with this, don't you? We're just gonna ease those up. And we've got the bottom of a ball right there. Uh, the finer, uh, more detail that you put into making sure that you've got perfect alignment on these, the better it's gonna go because any little misalignment you've got is going to add up as you attach more and more pieces. There's gonna be a few parts to this, over 200. Uh, next piece will be, I believe, a pentagon. This time we want the radial, and you'll probably have to like adjust this a bit in order to get the snap that you that you want. Now put a radial onto there, and you've put it on. Don't don't put it on on the outside. That's a bad idea, and that's that's not at a nice healthy angle, is it? That's fine. We'll just grab it with the rotation tool. Make sure that you're in the local mode of rotation when you're doing this uh, by hitting the F key, and we'll just uh, no snap. Adjust it and by eye. We're going to be doing a lot of by eyeness here until it looks to you that you've got a perfect seam right between those two points. Uh, then, again, grab it with the local and manually rotate it into place. It's so satisfying. I recommend coming over to the opposing side to check your seam while you make your adjustment and also drag the mouse way out and away from the rotation tool. You'll get a uh, finer control over what angle you can actually get. And that looks pretty good to me. Back to the radial hexagons here, and you're going to have more luck attaching uh, each of them if you're going on one of the sides that is facing uh, a harsh cardinal direction, you know? This is at a weird angle from the center of the room, that's at a weird angle, this is a weird angle, but this one is completely flat with the back wall. That's where you want to attach your next piece. There you go. Because they go on smoother, we didn't. We won't have to do any weird rotation in order to line things up. If I were to try and put it onto the side over here, yeah, then we end up with the weird rotation that we've got to compensate for. The way this soccer ball pattern goes is that wherever there's a pentagon, you need a hexagon touching every side of it. So one pentagon on the bottom, five hexagons there. One pentagon right here. Now this has to have one, two, three, four, and five. So for this one, I'm going to attach to the other side because now that, that line is facing an outer wall. So now, pentagon on the bottom, five hexagons. Pentagon on the side, five hexagons. That means we're back to pentagons. Grab a radial and attach. And do make sure, I mean, it's up to you what you want it to look like, but make sure that you're leaving the uh, octagonal struts, you know, on the inside where you don't have to look at them so much. And our last piece is going to be a radial mounted pentagon. Make sure you drop the snapping for this one. Uh, might want to angle it up a little bit for the final attachment. Snap it on, rotate it down, and ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you've just made yourself one great big ball in Kerbal Space Program. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a pair? And not only do you get yourself a giant metal soccer ball to kick around the KSC, but it also makes a really cool interior as well. Uh, planetarium, anyone? And depending on how exactly you intend to handle your balls here in, in Kerbal Space Program, uh, you might want to consider using uh, some extra strutting on the interior in order to make some connections where they might be a little bit loose. And you really can go crazy with the strutting in here if you want to, strutting each of these octagonals to the one uh, opposite it. But for now, I'm just going to slap a probe on here, maybe some SAS, a little battery, and uh, see if we can't play some soccer on the airstrip. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, what am I doing? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a probe on this. I'm going to deprive some Kerbal of the opportunity to pilot a giant soccer ball. I think not, my friends. Okay, test number one. Does it support its own weight when loaded onto the airstrip? I don't know, I'm looking at a green curtain behind me, did it? I, I didn't get to see. Yeah, it's, it's close. There's a little bit of gap there, you know, maybe maybe a couple of more struts would help out. How you, how you, how you feeling in there, Jeb? See, that's why we left it open. It's for, you know, OSHA standards. He needs ventilation in there and apparently has to have access to natural light once every 72 hours. SAS on, throttle to full, and go! 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 Oh. Not, not enough. Are you kidding me? I got massive. I mean, the the balls are massive, but the SAS unit's not enough. Oh, I, I could twist my ball. I could twist and. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that.
Okay, I can sort of just gently rub it forward and back here. Is this joke old yet? Is it, Was it old a minute ago? Okay. We obviously just need some more SAS, really. And maybe some additional strutting. Yeah, I think that'll do it. And? Yes, there you go. A complete violation of all regulations. No sunlight or air for you, Jeb. Throttle to full, RCS on, SAS on. None of none of those things. Let's turn the, that's just, that's fine. And go. Still? I've got, I've got so many SAS units in there. Are you kidding me? This, the, my, my balls are heavy. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. We got a roll going. We got a roll going. Okay, we're going down the pitch now. Picking up speed, 2.8 meters per second. Let's see what the top speed is. Okay, it's kind of just it's falling onto it's just rotating now. Hmm. Can I get a, like an ad tie-in for the Olympics here? We could try giving it a kick. Yeah, there you go. Okay, uh, maybe no. Now you're doing it, it, up. Sure. All right, just release that. We didn't need it anymore. Uh, the ball is sturdy-ish. I mean, a little bit of a little bit of a hole there, but I mean, the pilot is safe inside. You like your new uh, sunroof, Jab? Okay, I got my ball dangling in these clamps now, and I, I should probably stop talking. Go! Hey, hey, oh, oh, wait, no, I've got SAS. No, all right, well, just get rid of those then. We don't need them anymore. Oh, well, there you go. Um, keep it going. I got the I got the SAS module. We got up to over 10 meters per second on that kick, and this is the biggest ball that you can, this, this actually isn't the biggest ball that you can make, 2.5 meter. There are ways to make bigger balls. For example, you could probably make them out of, I don't know, like, delta wings. You know, like the, oh Jesus, the biggest, the biggest wing in the game for building planes or giant balls, as is your want. And now we find out if it explodes when you load it out onto the, the pad. Okay, yeah, no, well, that's, mm. so that's, what happened there is, uh, it actually, it's, mm. so, mm. thing is, with this design, mm. the audio engine is glitching. Importantly, though, the most important thing about this is, uh, we're at 69 meters right now. I don't know that Kerbal comes back from, I think, I think KSP might have uninstalled itself in protest. I am the Ronin Paul!